Today we celebrate the first glorious anniversary of the information purification. January 24th, Apple Computer will introduce Macintosh. And you'll see why 1984 won't be like 1984. What's up guys, welcome back to another video and in this video I will be uh, giving kind of a tutorial on, on how to uh, emulate the original Macintosh on your Android phone. Now we are talking about the original Macintosh that that was released way back the first macintosh to uh, ever have a graphical user interface it was also known as the macintosh 128k the same macintosh that was released in the year 1984 it actually ran a motorola uh, 68000 uh, 32 bit uh, processor and had 128 kilobytes of ram uh, but it was actually uh, initially uh, introduced with just 64 kilobytes of RAM. So, so these Macintosh came with a operating system which was earlier known as not OS X but it was known as System. So it had many versions right from System 1 to System 7 and the most common ones were System 5, 6 and then 7. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, we'll actually see how we can emulate this uh, on our Android smartphones. And now for that what we would need is actually go uh, onto Play Store and install an application called Mini VMac. Now as you guys would have noticed I already have it installed. So this is the ap application that we want to install. and then uh, what we do is go on to this website now the website would be linked down in the description I'll only let you guys know uh, what you have to download so we have to download two things first of all let's go into disk images and roams now here we have uh, at the end we have a file called vmac.rom we need to download that and we also need to download uh, some system os images now i do recommend the first one so that is the system 7.5.5 uh, uh, that is the one i would be using uh, although i uh, have modded mine in uh, quite some ways so okay so first of all once you have downloaded both the files you actually need to open up a file browser and then go into your internal memory and there would be a folder uh, called mini vmac go inside that and here is where you need to paste all your re uh, required files so as you can see down below i do have a mini uh, a vmac dot rom file and i also have the um, os file now in my case it's actually uh, uh, as i said i did mod it a little bit so it's uh, the 224m.dsk uh, and once we have that uh, at the correct location uh, we will open up our application and you would hear a beep like that and now we can finally turn into a landscape mode from portrait mode what the Check out these pictures. And why should I do that? Alright, so what we need to do is we you would see this uh, floppy symbol uh, and a flashing question mark. Uh, press these uh, three um, uh, uh, option buttons right there and select insert this. Now first of all you would need to select your uh, installation disk 
uh, I mean your uh, OS disk so the system image and in my case I, as I uh, said it's 224M now as soon as you select that it will be loaded and you would see welcome to Macintosh right away and here we have our main screen so this is what it looks like the mouse pointer is controlled by touch so opening applications might be a little bit tricky but uh, this is uh, actually it, this actually works pretty well so first of all i would uh, i would i want you guys to see something really amazing and back in the day back in 19 around 1984 or 19 um 90s microsoft had their presence and you can see i do have a copy of microsoft word now we can go ahead and open up uh, this old uh, black and white Microsoft Word. So it's uh, as it says, uh, it's licensed by Microsoft. And there we have a very basic. Uh, I mean, it's not basic. It's still uh, full of um, options and functionality, but it's a very uh, early stage of what we use now. So Microsoft had their softwares out there back in the day and they actually work pretty well. So let's go ahead and write something up for that. Again, click that option tab uh, of, of option uh, button or tab and then this will pop up and now you need to click the keyboard. And once we have the keyboard, we can type anything we want. So your Android keyboard won't work. This has its own custom keyboard. So just let write, uh, let's just write hello world and then we can uh, remove the keyboard now you can actually uh, drag across uh, the letter word it would be highlighted and i will just attempt to change its size so um, there we go so as you can see yes it is a bit laggy but that's how uh, systems worked back in the day uh, they won't uh, they they weren't the fastest of things and um, yeah so a pretty uh, nice emulator it would it runs mostly everything very very smoothly uh, no issues there so let's go ahead and play some kind of game uh, now to exit this what you will need to do is file and then quit so it will ask you if you want to save changes you can select yes or no it would ask you how what name you have to select and uh, uh, what name for the document you want and then click save and it will save everything and then um, exit so it is a bit slow it's not the problem of the emulator or the phone it's how the systems were back in the day they didn't have much to work with very slow processors and very limited ram so uh, first of all let's open up about this macintosh so as you can see uh, the total memory given by the emulator is actually around 4 megabytes which is actually a lot of memory considering that the original uh, macintosh had only 128 kilobytes of memory so yes 1 megabyte is uh, completely occupied by the system software we can close that and then uh, again go ahead and open up um, some game so there is this um, card game called Baker's Dozen now I don't really know how a lot about this but it looks like solitaire um, somewhat uh, and uh, it's pretty similar but I don't really know how it works so because I cannot uh, move the whole uh, stack uh, and um, uh, and move it somewhere else so uh, do let me know down in the comments what kind of a game is it is it even solitaire so we'll go ahead and quick and then open up another game that is uh, billiard parlor now this game is basically um, billiards but I did try it once and I did not understand it yes, so that is a noise this game makes a lot and I don't know if it's the sound driver configuration of uh, the Macintosh or um, is it just because it's in the game. So now the issue is that 
there as you can see there are apparently no holes and I can go ahead and hit this I can do whatever I want but it is not going to um, work so uh, let's try if we can actually start some uh, new game um, run is it cancel straight pool 8 ball okay so, all right so now we have um, the pool table and we can actually start playing somewhat so yes um, uh, it was uh, quite a thing to actually uh, have something like this run on your computer back in the day and it's it's really awesome to go back in time uh, using such emulators and experience what uh, people used to have in back in the day when the hardware was so limited and nowadays we just have three gigabytes of ram in our phone Oof. so anyway guys thank you so much for watching and i hope this was a short little video that you guys really liked going back in time. I enjoy doing this kind of stuff, emulation, especially going back with old operating systems. I have had videos for that. And um, thank you so much for watching this video. And I will see you guys in the next one.